So according to TMZ, okay, R. Kelly fears for his life in prison. First of all, nigga, I don't care. I don't care that you fear for your life. Good. I hope that you scared shitless. I, I, I hope that you cry at night and, you know, pray that don't nobody touch you. But I hope they get their hands on you. Before I even read this, I just hope that they put their hands on you. Because that's what you deserve, nigga. Anyway, R. Kelly is scared for his life behind bars. Fear retaliation from fellow inmates who know he's accused of abhorred sex crimes involving underage girls. Kelly's attorney, Nicole Blank Becker, Blank is her middle name, tells TMZ during a recent visit with the embattled singer in federal prison, he told Solitary Helps because he believes his life would be in real danger in Jim Pop. Kelly feels way safer by himself. I, <laughs> I hope they toss you a Jim Pop. I really do. Uh, that's the biggest wish I have for you right now. Just get their hands on you. I hope they make it so that you can still live so you can see a trial. But just one good beating is what you need right about now. As we reported, as we reported, Kelly is behind bars for the foreseeable future because the judge denied bond during Tuesday's hearing. Prosecutors say they have their hands on the alleged sex tapes, blah, 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 whatever. Okay. Although Kelly thinks he's better off in solitary, his attorney says it creates a problem because he has no one to lean on. Who do he need to lean on? That's his problem. He's been leaning on too many people. Too many people have been helping him. That's the problem. Okay? He can't read or write, and that makes even the most mundane tasks super difficult. So? So? Am I supposed to cry? Am I supposed to feel sorry for him? Fuck him. Such as figuring out what's on the commissary list. <laughs> Point. Nigga, I don't care that you can't read. Point. I want that. Open your mouth. Use your words. Kelly has access to a phone for a total of 15 minutes a month to speak with family and friends. So, prisoners in general pop have access to the phone all the time. There's also no access to TV or the internet. Good. You don't need to be on the internet. You don't need to see TV. You don't deserve none of those pleasures anymore. That's all I have to say. I just have to get that off my chest.